Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's finally time to play with the new Be Perfect and Gravity palette. This is going to be a long video, so you might wait, grab yourself a drink and what have you. I was just going to do. <laughs> I was just going to do my eyes, and you know what? I might still, but anyway, let's get started. So I've done my skin prep, as in skincare. And I'm going to do my eyes first because I don't know if there's going to be fallout from this absolute stunning palette. So in this palette we have got 10 high pigmented mattes, 3 light reflecting pressed pigments and 2 luxe metallic shimmers. It says take your makeup looks to new heights with Be Perfect's Gravity Shadow Palette. A collection of cool and neutral mattes complemented with light reflecting pressed pigments and intense metallic shimmers. Cool and neutral colour combos, high pigmentation luxe formulas, and please excuse the noise outside, but it is way too warm to close the window. On the window, we are not going to sing that song. Where's my mirror? And I keep knocking everything over today. Okay, so, oh, I'm so excited. Let me just grab my little pot of goodies and. I'm going to take the white matte shade called Weightless and I'm just going to use that all over the lid first. I've used my little BAM concealer. I'm so excited about this palette. I'm more excited about this palette than any other one I've got. What is all of this little stuff? It keeps coming up on my face. My eyebrows are driving me crazy. They really are. Like, I pluck them and then they just look a riot. I need to go and get someone to do them. I keep saying that, but then when I've got a bit of money, I end up just buying makeup instead. Because I'm like, whatever. Whatever, Trevor. So it's definitely powdery and fallout. So I'm glad that I definitely did. But look at that, even the white has got pigmentation. So next, we are going to go into the shade atmosphere. I'll show you the shadows that I use at the end. I'm just taking it at the end of this brush. And we're just going to lightly... I think I'll just take this one all over the lid actually on top of the weight. It's definitely, you know, there's kickback, which you can see in yourself, I think. But yes. I used to have the Be Perfect Tahiti palette which is very pretty and when I was doing my makeup course in 2020 at college you know I took it in and stuff but I, I ended up just selling it because I just never used it that is so pretty I really don't know what colours and stuff to go for there's definitely a lot of kick up if that is something that you Denny Lake. Oh, I don't know what shades to go for. Right, let's have a change of brush. I love this brush. This is an MUA Makeup Academy brush, E11. I actually got it free with a palette that I bought for my best friend for her birthday or Christmas. And it is so, so good. Um, I'm going to go into the shade Axis. Which is this shade here. Tap off the excess because... You know what though, even for it being powdery, it still needs a wee bit of help to get the pigment though, do you know what I mean? Because this colour I 
I watched this girl on the TikTok, she's called, is it Winging Mum's Life? She's called Jenny. Is it Winging? It might be. And, um, like, literally everything of Be Perfect You Love. I think it is proper peeing down the rain out there. The thing is, it pours with rain. And it's supposed to clear this humidity, but it doesn't. Even. That's a really gorgeous colour, that is. I'm just going to go back in. Actually, I might have to shut that window. Talk about distracted. This is just a clean body shop brush. Lovely. I'm actually going to look. I'll show you what I mean. Let's see if you can see it. Do you see the kick back up in the shadow? So so far, I've used these two and this, and as you can see, it is pretty. Powdery. Um, oh my god, that must be on my my head's a bit bouncy today. Oh, a clean brush just to. Okay, now I want to take a slightly smaller brush. And I'm going to go into that same axis shade. Oh, I kind of wanted to. Deepen it up a bit. They're very subtle so far, these shadows. Tapping my feet around there. They blend like a dream. <laughs> right, so I want to take a little bit of that. This is a Morphe brush. That I was sent by the lovely Helen Willis over on Instagram. They've kindly sent me a pack of stuff for supporting her. And she's just announced that she's pregnant. I'm so excited for her. Oh my god, that's so tickly. Okay. So we need a bit of deepening up because we definitely do. So I think I'm going to go in to... The shade Surge. Which is like a deep dark sort of browny sweetie kind of colour I'm just going to do little circular movements and I'm also going to slightly take it down there as well so that I'm getting that kind of a shape then we're going to go back in with our blender and just tease the edges so that it's not too in your face they're very subtle Honestly, like I know 
to look at the palette, you wouldn't think so because of the similarity of depth, but it's a very, very soft. Very easy to blend. We've got to go out in this horrible way about to go all day as well. Get the liberty. Love that. There's always got to be one that just doesn't match though with me. Yeah, let me just show you. So I've just used this colour. So as I say, you see it's really dark. But it's still subtle enough. Now. I'm going to take. A little flat brush. And I'm going to go into that white again. Just pressing that one with this little brush. And then I'm going to go in to the shade Infinity, I feel like today. I'm going to take it first on this little flat brush dry just to see how it applies. Or if it applies even, because we might need to use our finger, which I think we will need to do. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Okay, and then we'll just get this blending brush and just gently tease the edges. Again, backing with our finger. Make this apply. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colours. These are the kind of tones and palettes that I am into more recently rather than my greens and stuff. I still love my greens, always will. Oh, but why about that? My hand. But I'm definitely more for these tones. Look at that. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to try wetting the brush, just because I like to see applying the product wet. I know we've got fall down underneath here. I am so glad that I got this part. So that's it wet and that's it not wet. Look at that. I love the fact that it's literally got like bits of silver and everything in it. A happy dance and I'm going to take a little bit of cosmic dust which is like the silvery bit and I'm just going to apply oh 
ってた<笑> oh my god Now see if he used just a sticky sort of base and put cosmic dust all over your lid that would be absolute fire right so we're going to step away from the palette the I've got so many eye brushes to clean I think I am going to go off of camera, do the rest of my face and I'll come back when it's time to do blusher because we've got these new ones to try. So I'll be right there. So everybody, I'm back and this is the finished look using the Be Perfect. I've got a little bit of my eyeliner on here. And Gravity Palette. I love it. I also used my new P. Louise and I used this shade here on my cheeks and I also used my new highlighter from Catrice in Supreme Rose Beam and oh, is the sun coming up bright and beaming and I love it. So if you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload and I'll see you next time. Oh, I love it so much. Bye.